Hey guys, I gave you a video that talked about what my students struggle with the most in my course, but I wanted to follow it up with a video that talks about what photographers struggle with in Dubsado in general. And it's a feature that's available, it just doesn't work as we expect, and that's schedulers. So in a perfect world, as photographers, we would love to be able to present our client with our offer in a proposal, the different options, whatever it may be. Then once they choose their offer, we would love for them to be able to look at a scheduler and pick a session from the available dates to make sure that I have one that works for them. Then we want them to sign a contract and pay a session fee or a retainer on an invoice. Unfortunately, that order of things is not possible in Dubsado in terms of like a step-by-step -step onboarding process. There are workarounds, but the proposal coming before the scheduler, including a contract, and then showing an invoice is not possible. So if this is one of those features that you've been like, well, gosh, I mean, this would be amazing, Dubsado does not do it. Now, what you can do is present them with a scheduler to pick a date and then attach a proposal so that they can pick the correct offer. But that seems a little backwards for most of us. And here's the catch. Dubsado does not allow a contract to be attached to a scheduler. So once you add the proposal, any contract that you have on that proposal is gone. Here's my tip for you. If you want to do things in that order and that will get you through it, add terms and conditions to the bottom of your proposal. Add a checkbox that is required that says, I have read, understand, and agree to the terms as written above, and then it will present the invoice for payment. Thanks guys.